On October 11, 2011, the Department of Justice revealed that U.S. officials had foiled a plot to assassinate the Saudi ambassador to the United States and plans to bomb the Saudi Arabian and Israeli embassies in Washington and Argentina. Iran's Quds Force, the organization that oversees Iran's global terrorist activities and reports directly to Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, planned and financed this initial attack. One of the two main perpetrators of the attack is Mansour Arbarbsiar, a dual Iranian-American citizen living in Corpus Christi, Texas. The other perpetrator is Ghulam Shakuri, a member of the Quds Force who is still at large. Shakuri, according to Bahrain's Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid Al Khalifa, was also the key Quds Force agent directing the hardline elements of the opposition in Bahrain during the unrest in early 2011. Several other Quds Force officials are linked to the plot. Qasem Soleimani is the head of the Quds Force. He reports directly to Iran's leader Ali Khamenei. Hamad Abdullahi is Soleimani's deputy and oversees Abdul Reza Shalai, also known as Haji Yosef, who is the cousin of Mansour Arbabsiar. The plot began in the early spring of 2011, when Shalai approached his cousin to kidnap the Saudi ambassador to the U.S., Adel Al-Jubair. Arbabsiar traveled from Texas to Mexico on May 24th to meet with a supposed cartel member who was actually a DEA informant, known as CS1 in the Department of Justice complaint. During the meeting, Arbabsiar requested that CS1 carry out an attack on the Saudi embassy in Washington, D.C. with C4 plastic explosives. Between May and August, Arbab Siyar routinely traveled to Iran to finalize the details of the plot with Ghulam Shakuri and Hamid Abdullahi, who informed him that Quds Force Commander Qasem Soleimani was aware of the plot. They decided to not kidnap the Saudi ambassador, but to assassinate him, and to pay CS1 a $100,000 down payment for his involvement. During July meetings in Mexico, Arbab Siyar instructed CS1 to carry out the plot regardless of the possibility of innocent casualties, including U.S. senators, at a restaurant the ambassador frequented. CS1 received two wire transfers of $50,000 each on August 1st and 9th, both from a foreign bank account affiliated with the Quds Force into an FBI undercover bank account. Arbab Siyar attempted to travel from Tehran to Mexico to act as collateral while the plot was underway. On September 28th, Mexican authorities denied Arbab Siyar entrance into the country and he was returned to New York's Kennedy Airport. Upon arrival, Arbab Siyar was arrested by U.S. federal agents. Under their supervision, Arbab Siyar called Shikori on October 5th to notify him that the plot was moving forward but that CS1 had requested more money. In a call two days later, Shikori said that he would seek approval from his superiors for an additional $100,000 payment. U.S. officials revealed the plot on October 11th. The Quds Force officials involved in this plot have directed and planned a campaign of attacks against the United States inside Iraq. Shalai, the coordinator for the assassination plot, is the head of the Department of External Special Operations within the Quds Force. In January 2007, he planned an attack on the Karbala Provincial Joint Coordination Center in which gunmen killed five U.S. soldiers and wounded three more. The Quds Force-backed Shia militia group the League of the Righteous, led by Qais Ghazali, conducted the attack, which alerted coalition forces to the growing threat of Shia militant groups and the extent of Iranian assistance for their networks. Abdul Reza Shalai subordinate, Lebanese Hezbollah member Ali Musa Dakduk, served as the liaison between Ghazali and the Quds Force. Dakduk has held a number of senior positions, including commanding a Hezbollah Special Operations Unit and coordinating security for Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah. Dakduk and his superior, Yosef Hashem, the head of Lebanese Hezbollah Special Operations in Iraq, were instrumental in the Quds Force's restructuring of Shia militias in Iraq into a network resembling Lebanese Hezbollah. They met with Shalai, Soleimani, and other Iranian leaders in Tehran in 2006. Intelligence gathered from the Karbala attack ultimately led to the capture of Qais Ghazali, his brother Laith, and Ali Musa Dakduk in Basra two months later. However, the Ghazali brothers have since been released from Iraqi custody and continue to conduct attacks on U.S. personnel with Iranian support. While Quds Force-sponsored militants have attacked United States personnel in Iraq for years, the recent plot to kill the Saudi ambassador to the United States is the first known attempt to launch an attack on U.S. soil. The plot marked the launch of an Iranian campaign of attacks in North and South America, reportedly including follow-on attacks against Saudi and Israeli embassies. According to the U.S. Treasury Department, Quds Force officials established a multi-million dollar fund for financing such operations. This campaign underscores the growing ambitions of the Quds Force and marks an escalation of the Iranian regime's war against the United States, Israel, and Saudi Arabia.